Two people were killed in the explosion and a border employee was injured. The incident led to precautions at the airports and the closures of the bridges that connect New York to Canada on one of the busiest travel days of the year. Chaos ensuing at the U.S.-Canada border in Niagara Falls when a vehicle seen at the top of this surveillance video accelerates before hitting a curb, going airborne and exploding on the Rainbow Bridge. Ricky Wilson was nearby for a business meeting. I first thought it was an airplane. It looked like slow motion. And I said, my God, it's a car. And it, it's a vehicle and it's flying through the air. He hit the concrete barrier probably uh, right at the signal. God knows how many thousands of feet before the bridge. It went airborne. The vehicle began to turn sideways and went under something overhead. And then it hit something over there. The crash mobilizing the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force and local law enforcement, which eventually determined it was not terrorism. When you have an incident like this, um, you want to take an abundance of precaution. At least one of the two people killed identified as a man from western New York. Two individuals died in the, in the vehicle. The Border Patrol individual working in the booth was injured. The booth literally protected that individual. They went to the hospital with minor injuries and have been released. The investigation halting traffic as people look to get to their Thanksgiving destinations. This is one of the busiest crossings, not just in western New York, but along the entire U.S.-Canadian border. A Canadian man living in Rochester watched it unfold on TV, waiting to see if he would be able to make it home. It, it, anybody watching this on TV, you can understand it's, it's, it's obviously un, unsettling and unnerving for the people close by, but... Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, what a, it's a tough time for this to have to happen, you know, so just thinking of everybody that uh, that's impacted. By the end of the day, all other bridges would reopen. The Rainbow Bridge remaining closed until it can be evaluated for any structural damage. The cause of the vehicle explosion remains under investigation, but federal authorities emphasize there is no need for the public to remain concerned. In Niagara Falls, I'm Carla Rogner for the National Desk, America's News Now.